Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Baldur's Gate 3 where I'm apparently just looking at this wall. Um, see if I can... Still breathing. Can I put myself Despite everything. up to the top? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's weird to see me at the... I keep looking over to myself and it's in the wrong order. Um, so, can't use a Asterion properly apparently, but I have access to these really cool spells <laughs> now as a paladin. So maybe I can smite that dang nab witch. We should go do that now. All right, yeah. We got the amethyst. Yep, that was part of the two things on the list. Well, sort of getting the amethyst, doing the phase spiders, and I don't think I even had the hag on the list, did I? No, I had the slavers. I totally forgot to add the hag to the list. We're doing that though. Uh, the Zenger, oh wait, no, yeah, we're doing we're doing the hag first. We're gonna see how that goes. Um, where Riverside Tea House? Hey. Are the, red, the mad red caps still there? Are they still mad? Oh, they are. Dang. That makes sense. We just... I think that's the first time I've ever just, like, spawned in. Your turn. Not my turn, apparently. Why can't I just, like, force stealth? Mm, but, ooh, I want to force stealth. Oh. The blade will not bend. I think I have the darkness. I think Stop I have everything. darkness. Huh? Everything. My friend said uh, the Cloud of Daggers is really powerful. Um, and I believe her. From what I remember, the spell is powerful with regular D and D also. Uh, we'll stay here. I have bad initiative. Why do I have bad initiative? Also, we totally should have been surprised, honestly. Oh, I might regret this, but I'm not gonna move him. Take that! Counterspell! Ooh! Spells of third level or lower can always be interrupted. <gasps> it is a third level. It's what it says. Uh huh. Uh, higher level spells are harder. Ask for confirmation upon trigger. Yes. Counter spell. Ooh. Cool. I like that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, please walk into that. You did! You idiot! I, I didn't realize there was somebody there. How nice. Whoa! <gasps> I placed this apparently in a pretty good spot. Uh, let's moonbeam the other side. Whoa! <laughs> now you have to come to me. Do I not have ranged? I do, but I don't think I, I can't hit anybody right now. So that's... Oh no, I almost cast Shield of Faith, but that is a concentration spell and I would be so upsetty spaghetti. Oh, I was like, what? He's still here? Why is that guy still here? Did he not go talk to the witch already? Oh, dang it. I could have probably done something. I forget she has that secondary thing now. Um, Big time Eldritch Blast. Oh, wow. You did some. Please don't stall out. I'll be very upsetty, spaghetti. Wow, we are wrecking everybody now, and it's not because of Asterion. Didn't I already take this stuff from them? Oh my gosh. Looking ahead. Oh my gosh. Oh, in another game I'm playing, we are actually do we are actually using the Mind Flayer parasites. Um So that's been cool. That's been wild. It's my necromancer playthrough. Like guy Like, has he not gone in to talk to her already? She's like, she's like phased away. Something's on my mind. You tracked me down again, my friend. 
Would that I had as much luck with the beast I'm hunting. Oh yeah. I'm here to help. This is a Starian trade. This man has no money, but I will take your potions. Oh, I should probably go really fast and sell things. I have too much, too much in my inventory. And then I shall come back. Peckish. Me too. Keep an eye out for any passing vagrants. I'm afraid you'll have to content yourself with vagrant chickens. Ooh, having Will and Asterion in the same party is gonna be <laughs> Will trying to be nice. Or Will being nice, but also being like, hmm. Ooh, Kaga, she's gonna be trouble. Peace. Enjoy it while it lasts. I know what she actually tried to do because in another playthrough, my friend that I played with, she was like, let me tell you. Oh my gosh, the traitor guy. Oh, okay, I was like, he's gone. I was gonna be mad. But in another playthrough, my friend was like, look at that. Hey, there's nothing. Look at this whole secret side quest. This grove is kept by Sylvanas's faithful. Ah. Uh. So it's true. Yeah. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Yeah, and maybe Thank you. maybe you guys should learn to think for yourselves. I'm just glad I could help. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. Don't pretend like you feel bad for them. Of course. <laughs> oh, gall. Um, so I sold a bunch of stuff, but I bought some cool looking armor. I bought this chain shirt. Looks neat. Padded armor. Looks neat. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, but I did. I also want these. I forgot she's carrying a whole barrel. This is the padded armor I just got. It looks really good on him. Yeah, since he's a light armor guy, I'll give him the light armor and I'll save the clothing. I'll save that for Gale. Sharp as ever. Did I not? I thought I gave him medium armor proficiency, but apparently I didn't because I'm a maniac. Next time I'll do that. Oh, he's not proficient with these? What is he proficient with? It's a, it's a finesse weapon, so I thought he could have it. All right, freaking finally. Inventory management. Okay, I definitely save on that one. So I got rage quit if I have to go through that again. Um. What's the strange ox still doing here? Everybody else left, my guy. I was kind of curious if there was more to do in here. But I have a mission, and that mission is... Where is it? <laughs> it is here. We're going to kill the witch. Maybe. We'll see. Friggin', I don't know. I can't believe the guy is still here. Where am I going? Where am I? Where, where am I facing? Like, I thought he left. Watch your back. Oh, okay. Calm down. Can't give up now. Let's, uh, let's not be a Starian. We're gonna walk into this as ourselves. Uh, M. Who's M in Baldur's Gate? Who's another witch type, it looks like. Love that. Potion of speed. Guess who's never gonna use any of those? Me. <laughs> Uh, I do That's also nice. need to let me sort my type. I need to sort who needs. Attention. She needs potions. He needs potions. He definitely needs potions. Okay. Have a lot. I hope I wouldn't put that. I I, ha I keep this only because I want to use it eventually to put on my weapons or something. And I did pay to keep that. I think it might just be lump this time, but that's okay. Don't burn yourself. Anyway, Asterion's just standing. I wonder if it's an illusory fire. Let's see what this does. Which apparently you can just turn off. <laughs> I definitely thought you would need to throw water on it, but my friend was like, yeah, you can just turn it off. I was like, oh. <laughs> okay. Let's save again. Onwards. Let's try... 
to see how far we can get. I can't use Moonbeam anymore. I'm, I'm an idiot. I used up Moonbeam too much. I used up my level twos. Oh well. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I just tanked the Noxious Fumes because I have do? no patience. There, in the cage. Shh. I'm hoping to sneak past and lower this. When I was playing with my friend, I noticed we didn't know how to get her down, but I did notice the control orb, and so I'm hoping to get over there with him. I think she wants to stay in this one. In the other one I was playing, um, she, uh, she figured out what was wrong. We, I don't know. Somehow we, we told her. I don't know what happened. But she was like, let me go, blah, blah, blah. But it seems like right now she's like, no. Really? No. Yoink. Dang, Nabbit. Come on. Oh, do this thing. Can we not interact with it right now? Mm. Nope, I'm gonna reload that. I, I should be able to interact with it. You know what I did last time? That's right, I think I cast... Now that I think about it, I think I cast darkness over there. And made it easier for him to get over there undetected. Or mist or something. Which I don't know. Maybe Gale has it. Dang it. I think Gale's the one who does have it. See if I can switch out. Maybe Will has access to it. Wait, Jurgle? I thought Jurgle was the scribe god. I just noticed that. Dang it. Gale's the one with... And we can't, I think that's right, because warlocks are ones that you can't switch out their spells until there's a level up. But the other spellcaster types you can. The original god of death, murder, and strife. But when they say Jurgle, the original god of death, murder, and strife, I, um... Did he then become, like, the god of scribes? Or scribing, or whatever? Or maybe, I, I don't know, maybe I just under misunderstood. The whole thing. Anyway, I'm leaving to get Gale. That's what I'm doing. Go to camp. Get Gale. Make sure that he has what I want, anyway. I need a moment for the two of us. I need Tell a me. moment. What can I do for you? For the two of us. Please. With pl My guy. Oh, it does look good on him. Okay, if nothing else, he does have the scroll of darkness, which means we could... I mean, we could take that from him and you give that to Will, maybe. Let's see what his spell book is. So he does have it, but it's not an active one right now. He also has fireball. Maybe I should bring Gale. Oh, he has fog. That's right. Those blinds and heavily obscures creatures within it, which doesn't mean that we can't shoot into them. So that's a that's a thing about darkness that's not great. I do kind of want to use gust of wind. Let's see how that goes. Anyway, yes, we will bring Gale for this. Also, I want to dye people's clothing. Ooh, I turned hers yellow. Interesting. The colors, they've also, in, well, in the patch that just came out, they did change some of the, like, to make the colors brighter or something. Purple. I kind of want to use purple for myself. <gasps> yeah, I want to use purple on myself. I think I have the Drake dye on currently. <gasps> oh! 
I think the red looks better on me, but I do like the purple a lot. I'm going to go back to the Drake. Oops! I didn't mean to grab that. Dang it. Wasted that. No, I didn't have the Drake, but I like it. Oh my gosh. It matches my cape even better now. <gasps> oh, I like it. I like it. Now me and Kyle like match. But Gale does look exceptionally good in that. And I do really like this turquoise. Honestarian. I think it looks very nice. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, and his, I forgot, he does wear the austere clothing. I wonder if his favorite color is purple. Um, okay, squad, we are rolling out in our finest looks. Oh my gosh, this looks so Always a delight to speak quick. with you. Oh, I already got him. Okay. What can I do? Bye. Uh, let's go. <laughs> now that we look our best, <laughs> also. I guess I could summon Scratch, too. Uh, that, oh, uh, holy cow, hold on, I just want to leave. Leave camp. Woo. Oh my gosh, the squad! The colors. I wonder if I tried the Drake before and now it's one of those ones that is benefiting from the brighter colors, I guess. But there oh, I should have I should have put Kalak in Drake and we can matchy match for reals. We already do because her skin's red and her armor's yellow and I have the red and yellow. And anyways. <laughs> I'm thrilled, honestly. The purple, I'll have to contemplate the purple for me. If it was all this darker purple, I think I would have gone with it. Maybe it'll depend on what armor I'm wearing, because purple will obviously look good on me. Like that rich dark purple, but there, I do like the lavenders. I don't know, I just wasn't, for maybe for this particular armor set, it wasn't like exactly what I was wanting, but it was so good. It was good, I liked it. But I'm definitely um, feeling the reds and golds and yellows with this character. It just depends on what I'm feeling. Also, I'm really hoping that I have now triggered all the traps. Nope. They're freaking back. <laughs> Some of them. Why do they keep coming back? This makes me sad. Okay, it took so long for all of that to get worked out and to get us back down here. That, that was an hour and I had to stop the recording. But um, I don't remember. I'm trying to remember if my robe looked like this. I swear it was like red with like red designs. So I'm curious if the Drake armor dye actually did work on it and that's why the outfit matches so splendiferously now. Because um, the basic red hasn't changed but I think the dragons have gotten a little brighter. I don't know. Um, but we are going to have you come over here and cast as soon as Asterion gets Dad, closer. In the cage. Yes, hush, hush, hush. What a charmer. What a charmer. You play close. I also gave Asterion the Spell Thief bow because it's cooler looking. And he gets a cantrip back or whatever. Not a cantrip, a level one spell. Whatever. That's cool and all. Uh, but I just wanted him to have a cooler bow. And it is cooler. He's looking a bit peckish, honestly. Like, is he normally this pale? Okay, now that Asterion is closer. How much longer will this take? Oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. This might uh, be bad. But we are going to attempt. Okay. I think that did what I wanted. Let's have some fun. Which means you. Just like old times. Go in here now. Ooh. Safely. Yep. Please. Okay. We did it. We got her out of there. What's that thing? Can we have him jump up there? No? Um. So, Gale failed his, uh, his stealth check. I, I kind of don't know what else to do here besides... What to do? Don't I don't know if we can go talk to her. This outfit shows off his legs. Taking my time in the shadows. Um. I mean, I'd like to get a Starian up there on the high ground. They won't see me coming. 
Okay, I was like, I was like, I don't know how far I'm gonna be able to get, but let's. Do this. see this coming. Okay. Oh my gosh, are you serious? We're screwed. Oh, that's right. I did hear about the tricksy way to handle all this, so. Well, so much for peace. Yeah. Hush. Oh, okay, so I am involved as attention. Wow! Man, why can't I am just not gonna be able to do anything, aren't I? That's the original hag, I am pretty sure. I think they removed it. Apparently there was a way to look at the original one. Oh by like clicking examine. Hmm. Here we go. So the notable features I can tell. Uh, at least... Okay, so it might be her... Alert, dark vision... This is the regular one. There we go. Oh, and I get to do it too? Let's do it again. Baby, we are getting there. Oh wait, is she a freaking fiend? She's Fey. Does that count for Fey? Nope. Okay, celestial so fiends and undead. Mhm. Mm oh, okay. Here we go. There's that. That's good. Let's do. Can't reach her, but it's so close. She's at eight. Uh, this might be stupid, but I am. Oh, and he can get his healing that way. I am not going to. Wait! Whoa! Wait just a oh, This didn't happen before. Killing me is a waste of time. I'll find a way to return. Always have, always will. Why is she talking to Carlac? It's unpleasant. So how about we be civilized about this, hmm? I have something you want. She just stopped combat to be like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, Petal. There's, there's no need for such talk. No, no, Carlac wouldn't do this. Let me leave with the girl and I'll give you power. Uh, no, Carlac would not do you that either. You want to either. be stronger, tougher, smarter, done. Anything is possible. Just let me keep the girl and her babe. Trading some wealth we just met for impossible power. It's a fine Yeah, of course you would say it's that. It's your choice, sweetness. No. <laughs> Asterian. Um, I don't know if that... I don't want to... Does that mean I'll be able to get... Marina? You know what I mean? Nah, I think the dead hag. Fine. Have it your way. I'll rip your throat out, yes, you little bollocks. Maybe. Try to maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> She's over here. Hang on. Is she invisible? What? A stair? What? <laughs> Let's throw. What are we? Where's the throw button? Wake up! That's it. Wakey, wakey! No this will keep Gale safe until. Oh dang! I was already doing a concentration spell, huh? The oh well. Oh well, this will keep Gale safe. Yeah, you just stay in there, buddy, bucko. You are, he's the, uh... 
the trump card here with fire. Although, to be fair, we don't even really need fireball. Okay, she is over there. Maybe I can just fireball that corner. <laughs> oh, baby, this is bad. Oh, darkness got broken. No! <gasps> no, my plans! Well, hmm. this is going very poor. See, I do. Dang it. Okay, we can go back to the quick save though, and I can just fireball that area. There's nothing else, you know. Okay. Well, if we aren't, I'm gonna expedite this. Oh, I'm just gonna, if she's stuck in hold person still, we're just gonna expedite this. I hope anyway, I think I did quick save in the, in the ding now dialogue, otherwise we were so close, I'm gonna be very upset. It's your choice. Woo! Yes. yes! A dead hag is the answer still. Because now my <laughs> I was like, my invisibility thing should be working here. Let's see. For this. Oh. All right. You busted! Oh, you jeez! You ruined everything! Did, oh, I think this is because we didn't tell her um, in when when she was up in the actual house with with Ethel when Ethel was human looking we didn't tell her that her brothers were murked by Ethel Ethel was going to bring my husband back back from the dead and now I'll never see him again because of you well she already killed your brothers this just a bit longer and my child would have been born and all this all this would have been over your firstborn child huh don't judge me I have nothing my baby would have been raised in rags Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life uh-huh Teach them magic here. Do you see what she's done? She's probably gonna eat More your baby. She's probably gonna eat it. From what I'd seen, you'd make a terrible mother. I know, I wanna... I wanna call her out on this. This is bullshit, but I, I see this. It's like, you can raise this child. But like, I don't know. I don't think she deserves to raise this child at this point. Yeah. Well, I didn't bloody ask you, did I? I didn't ask for any of this. Yeah, you did! I just want it you specifically back. did ask for this! Now I have to drag his corpse back home, coughing and all, because a goddamn grave is the closest I'll get to seeing him again. I hope you're happy. Hmm. That child is not going to be in a good spot. I don't know, the option I picked, I said, um... That you're uh, like oh, you should have well, known better. Not as bad oh, as it could have. Part. I know I'm safe scumming. I don't want to get like the perfect happy outcome or anything, but I do kind of want to see what I would have said. Uh, I want to see if like telling her she can do it is uh, would help. Would change. I don't know. I don't. She doesn't. Because the child's gonna live a crappy life with that mother. And I, why can't I tell her that Ethel killed her brothers? You know? Or maybe I didn't find that. I don't know. Oh, oh good. <laughs> you busted. You ruined it. You ruined she everything. She was invisible, but I just AOE'd the area. Hmm. You can raise this child. I always wanted to be a mother. I just never thought I'd do it alone. 
Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. I hope you're happy. Mm. All right, none of it really changed. What's inside? Uh, she doesn't really deserve. Wow! Uh, wow! 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 So much. I'll take it. Wow! Look at all that. Anyway, we freaking did it. Congratulations, Jesus, everybody. Seen everything. Everyone's like on edge. Everyone looks like they're like ah. Back home will never be. That was rough, but we did it. Interesting, this will be very different from what I did before where we were like, she was like, help me, save me, because, you know, What's in here? she freaking knew. She didn't say much about her baby that I remember, though, like, um, in, in the save where, um, where I did this differently with my friend. Yes, yes, all the saves. Bitter divorce. What? Hmm, I'll take that. Staff of Crones. I picked up an ever seeing eye. I didn't mean to pick that up. Protection from good and evil. Cool. The result of a foolhardy woman begging Auntie for a favor. A pale green eye. Yeah. Yeah. Bitter divorce. What? what? Eternal updated what? We found a wand with Connor's name on it. Could this resurrect Marina's husband? Oh, okay, okay. Read. Dear Sir Dearest, are you feeling all right, Petal? I can't believe you let some pup give you the slip. I'd be mortified, worry not. My red cap's now for the bugger. They're taking their sweet time with him. The screaming stopped a few nights past, but the sobbing continues. He'll die regretting he crossed a hag. A mother with a failing mind. You know me so well. I have the most darling mask for her. You must come to visit. Blah, blah, blah. It's this one. Ethel, I've heard business has been slow. Rest assured, I have a job for you. Client fled Baldur's Gate without payment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a girl who suits her particular appetites. Her mother's mind is failing. My contact has assured her you can help. I'll have her sent by the usual route. Her sister M in the freaking... In the... I think that's like something I can have for, for food. In Baldur's Gate. We'll have to keep an eye out for another hag. She was a city hag. This one's a, uh, the rural, the typical rural hag. Whoa, jeez. Okay, potion. Some of the potions are like necklaces. Elixir of Arcane Cultivation. Gain an additional level one spell slot. Replaces effects from other elixirs when drunk. Okay. Uh, I don't know who needs that. What? Whoa. I didn't know I could do that. Insanity's kiss. Something thrashes in this heavy gourd consumed by rage. Can I open it? That definitely looks like it's sealed. It's definitely a jin in there. Definitely not going to open it. Broken promises. A parasite swims at the bottom of this bottle. Fat with strength. Oh, like one of our parasites? Heart of stone. Fragments of malachite swirl at the bottom of this potion, coalescing and separating rhythmically. Oh, somebody's heart is actually made of stone. Faltering will sweet intoxicating aroma hangs around this bottle. It reminds you of home. Yeesh. Butterflies in the stomach. A traditional brew of ergo and nutmeg meant to recapture the fluttering thrill of first love. A love potion. I don't even know what to do with any of these things. A mother's loathing. Yikes. 
Thousands of little legs skitter inside this bottle, seeking an escape. That's horrifying. What do I do with these? Drink. I accidentally almost clicked it. it. Smells like a sleep potion turned sour. That's a good way to put it. Lover's avarice. A rotten pungency undercuts the potion's otherwise pleasant aroma of roses and honey. What am I supposed to do with these? Just sell them? Shouldn't sell these. A hint of blood lingers around the stopper. It's enough to make your mouth water. Don't touch any of these. Lost time. The seal is dry and cracked with age at the potion. Clear potion within bears no sign of spoilage. I don't know if any of these will be useful, but I've got them. Look at all these. Wow, we are so rich. I mean, we've already got rich just from... You want this, Gail? Just from the money she freaking gave us. Ray of Sickness. Mm, I think the ensnare is more helpful. Immediately. Immediately. All's well that ends. Also, I did kind of hear the, um... When Carlag was like, I'm not gonna let you die on my watch. I definitely did hear that. When I died, it was tragic. And this just takes us out. Swift as my feet can carry me. She was. I think this was the. Walking on air. What? Successfully using a fairy ring. Okay, yes. I. That, that was a fairy ring with the mushrooms. Yeah. I need a quick word. Gods! Didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. Let me tell you guys. No, I'm not going to tell you yet. Okay. No. Are you all... That's a dumb question. And that seems callous, and I'm not going to resurrect him. I am a paladin of nature. We don't do undead. Are you alright? Not even a little bit. But I will be. No! He deserves a proper burial. He deserves some rest. And he won't get that here. He deserve. Oh, now he now he deserves rest. But he earlier you wanted to resurrect him. Hang on. <laughs> uh, stand with her inside. We were just kids when we met. <laughs> I might have pushed him off a swing. I wanted. He got right up and pushed me back. I was so surprised that I just laughed. He did too. We've barely spent a day apart since. That sounds horrifying, honestly. What? What? Oh no! There was a bug. That, that was that was the stupid bug. No, I thought they fixed that. I feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. Oh. It wants to be used. Bring it back. Bring Connor back. Please. Absolutely, the freak not. No. Well, it's a good thing we friggin' quick-saved. I know we quick-saved not too far, not too much earlier than that conversation, but... You get, you get bit by the bug of not saving enough enough times, and uh, you just start slamming quick-save everywhere. Especially if you can do it big combo. I did get to tell one of my friends who I play with, I was like, you know you can do this quick-saving thing? She didn't know about quick-saving in general. And I was like, and you can quick-save during dialogue. And she was like, <gasps> I'm like, it's a game-changer, right? She was like, yes, it, like an actual game-changer. She was like, yes, it's an actual game-changer. No, he deserves a proper burial. Stand with her in We silence. were just kids, but he got right. We've barely spent a day apart since. <sighs> so... I found a wand, I think I can resurrect your husband, and then snapping it in front of her face doesn't seem good, but it feels weird to just leave her here? I 
Maybe it's like a harsh, you know, like, listen, you need to move on past this, you know? But it, like, I don't know, I think I would, I would say, I would say I found a wand that can resurrect your husband, but we shouldn't use it. I don't know, maybe we would just walk away? What would I do with a paladin? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't bring you back. Gosh, she's just gonna cry, isn't she? Cry and cry and cry. She's just gonna be here? Can I just break the wand right now? Where'd it go? Oh, hang on. What does it say? Clumps of hair and flesh stick out from the twisted roots that make up the shaft of this wand. Connor is scratched in the surface. Listen, I know what happens. I know what happens when you resurrect him. Maybe I can give the wand to Gale and have him do it. I don't think Gale would really do it either, but I certainly wouldn't. Hmm. I applaud your taste. I applaud your taste. Because if you're just going to be sitting here, hang on, let me even check my journal. Yeah, okay, so we kind of have to... Okay, hang okay. Uh, would I do it or would Gail do it? I don't think I would do it. I think I'd give... But it feels like, cop out, like a cop-out to give the wand to somebody else. Like, I feel like she would rather take responsibility for it. But also would be obligated to not use a resurrection wand, but she would snap it in half, maybe. It just feels kind of mean, the way it's a, the way it's approached, you know? I could just light the thing. I could just light his... I could just light this box on fire from here, but that also feels very mean. Just fireball down on top of it. I think she cannot actually physically bring herself to even do anything with the necromancer wand. So she would give it to Gale. And not in a cop-out kind of a way, but in a... We need to show her that this is not a healthy way to approach things. You know, or like, just like, I can't do this. Are you willing to, essentially? You know, like, I can't... I literally can't, with my oath, even attempt to pretend to bring something back from the dead. Um, so we will... Have Gods! Didn't hear you coming. Oh, I thought Gail I'd put him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey. What? You can. You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back. Bring Connor back. Please. I know what happens if you do use it. And... It's not, it's not what she wants. What have you done? You bastard! I thought you were going to hell! I thought... I thought... Hmm. Uh, what happens if you use it is he comes back as a reanimated undead and you can like have him go with her or you can like I don't know it, there's, there's like a couple different options or you can keep him as like a summon essentially and you can summon him like he's basically a familiar with the wand I've just been sitting here I'm like super torn I think this was the area that was blocked off with arcane magic earlier that we couldn't access because it was covering his coffin uh, I just don't like, I don't really like my options in that whole thing. Something good here, I hope. It made more sense with my morally decrepit, um, necromancer. Like, we definitely were like, oh yeah, we'll try to do this, you know. But I feel like as a nature paladin, specifically a nature paladin, because they don't mess with the undead, wouldn't be able to do it. But then I also don't know if me having my companions do, um do actions counts against me or not, you know? 
So I'm like torn, I don't know what. It's like, save Marina, and she's like totally like messed up. She was distraught. But yeah, I don't and I don't I don't want it to be like, oh you did it to be mean. I'm like, no, I did it because I don't want to bring back I don't want to do the undead kind of stuff, you know? So I feel like it might be misunderstood as like the evil thing to do. But like bringing somebody back from the dead isn't necessarily a kindness, you know? So I'm a little torn on that, but I feel like it was the right thing to do even if the game doesn't recognize it. Um That, was that it? Besides the necromancer to Nope, we have the slavers. We have the slavers still. Um. Shoot, I don't know how long this episode is. <laughs> oh, is this guy still here? Guy, Ethel's dead. Go home. If you, already, if you didn't talk to her, you're already too late. Also, I still can't believe that anybody thinks that the hags are going to help him. It's like, well, what did you think Ethel was going to do with your baby? Like, turn it into, she's probably gonna turn it into a monster. You know, even if she didn't eat it, she was not gonna be, it was gonna, her child was gonna grow up with a hag. You know? Like, that was not gonna go well. Sounds like a good moment to talk. You tracked me down again, my friend. With that I had a. Bye. Much. Why is this guy still here? I feel like he wasn't here in the other save file with my friends, where he, like, just stuck around forever. Um, oh, I should, though. Let's bring my dog out. Come on out. Come on out, Scratch. We get to go have fun. Scratch is gonna find stuff for us. Sorry. Oh, hey. Send a camp. Oh, um, I also... Where, just for, like, completion's sake... Where is the froggy? Whoa! What happened? Are you guys just... Are you guys just... Oh, go. Oh, no. A sword and a hat. What? A sword and a hat? What? Also, I have- oh no, I gotta get out of the water before my wound! I was thinking they were gonna walk around, but no, they just walked right through the water. Like maniacs. Okay, I'm bored. Ribbit, ribbit. So, okay, whatever. The swab, swamp apparently always looks like this. Hag is gone! Happy! I'm very happy for you. Oh, I'd be happier with something for my trouble. Uh, glad I could happy, help. Happy! Okay. <laughs> Come! Present! It's a cute little frog. Oh, what? So I still have open wound or what? It doesn't say I have open wound. Also, I gotta look at that greatsword I picked up and see if it's like a magical greatsword that I that the lady of the swamp gave me. What? Here! Shiny! Bye! Uh, bye! Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, thank you. Ooh. Thank you indeed. Okie dokie. Well. That's everything in the fog, or in the bog, or whatever. Words. I'm just so glad we beat the we beat the hag. I, that was so hard. I had such a hard time. I don't think I've even uploaded that yet on YouTube. But it's just like I mean, obviously I have at this point. But when this video goes up, <laughs> but um, yeah. Anyway, I'm stalling. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. I guess. Hopefully, it's a decent long episode. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. To all my patrons, but to especially to all of them, uh, including the Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you, Fane, for your support. And thank you, Adam, for your support. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it a lot. 
And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I very much appreciate it. Thank you again so much. And I hope to see you all in the next video.